times are rough and the going gets tough when you have nowhere to run and you hit rock bottom the only way to go is up through hard times through extraordinary moments there will always be the one who walks with us who carries us who is always with us no matter what though everything changes for God loved us first we are the Feast of Home Bay Area District. Welcome to our spiritual family. Full of imperfect, messy people who journey together in finding and embracing God. We welcome you to Feast at Home. This is Mo Sanchez. Hi, this is Brother Audie Villaraza. This is Brother Dito Lubato. Doc Ryan Capitano. Brother Philip Sumera. Coach JC Libina. Brother John Ben Rodriguez. Brother Tony Valles Vela here. Renee Antony Ban. Brother Emer Encarnacion. I'm Alvin Barcelona. This is Brother Michael Leguard. I'm Bob McConaughey. You are loved. Thank you for joining us today. Feast at Home Bay Area Sunday Taglish Session The reason why Jesus came to earth obviously is to die and rise again so that you and I might live forever but he had another reason for coming he wanted to heal the image that ordinary people had about his heavenly father because so often that image was distorted by these mere human traditions whenever you have authentic religion you will always have the presence of an enlarged heart and how is that enlarged heart show itself to others through humility and compassion god can work tremendous things through those who don't care who gets the credit Alam natin na kahit ano pa ang dumating sa ating buhay mm-hmm. meron tayong pinanghawakan meron tayong babalikan meron tayong paniniwalaan at yun ay walang iba kundi ang ating Panginoon ang kanyang pagmamahal ang kanyang pagpapatawad ang kanyang kagalingan at ang lahat ng mga milagro at biyaya na kanyang ibibigay sa ating lahat at ako ay naniniwala na kung tayo mananatiling mabuting tao, gagawa at gagawa ng paraan ng Diyos upang mapabuti ang buhay mo. Yes. And true enough, miracles do happen once God wills it to happen. It is not Correct. our will, but it is God's will. I believe what God is telling us today is that we may not be in control, but that He is in full control. He is telling to us today, I am in full control of what you are not in control to aspire for Jesus every day and not just aspire for Jesus but to aspire to be like Jesus in this time of crisis not just to receive healing not just to receive blessing but to be a blessing as well to others in our lives God has a message of love for us why because God's timing is never Oh God, we truly declare right now 
that your name is above all names and for all of those watching right now who are going through their own internal bleeding be it spiritually be it emotionally be it mentally be it physically oh god provide for us provide for them heal us bring us into the arms of your eternal life eternal grace in jesus oh god we decide not to seek heaven out there but we seek heaven in here right now in our hearts where you are and where you are oh god there our dreams will come true there our dreams will be fulfilled there your dreams for us will be complete because oh god you make us complete wherever we are in your most holy and mighty name we seek this healing right now in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name for your name is power your name is love thank you god thank you god. And again, we're excited to see you next Sunday here at the 1.30 p.m. Tagli Session. Tito, kung saan merong magandang mangyayari sa'yo! God bless, God bless you! Magandang, magandang, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Good afternoon. Ako po si Ginoong Kaungka at kasama ko po si Binibining Ayumi. Magandang hapon. Yes, magandang, magandang hapon, magandang umaga, magandang tanghali, magandang gabi. Kung nasaan man kayo ngayon. And syempre, Ginoong Kaungka, di ba? Gusto natin i-welcome oh. ang lahat to our family! The 1.30pm Peace at Home Taglish Session! Yan. Welcome sa ating mga nanonood ngayon sa FB Live, sa YouTube, at sa ating Peace TV. At syempre, ang bagong-bago, ang ating kumunation. Magandang magandang hapon po sa lahat na nakasubaybay sa ating live session ngayong araw na ito ng The Peace. Ayan. At kung yes. kayo po ay... Uh, nanonood kasama namin at uh, nandirito, mag-comment lang po sa ating comment section at mamaya ay amin kayong babatiin. Yes, syempre, al- paalam niyo naman sa amin kung saan kayo ngayon, di ba? Kung saan kayo naroroon ngayon, malay mo, magkakapit ba tayo? Wala man dito sa engagement si Brother Tony na na lahat kapitbahay ito si Brother Tony. Malay niya naman tayo nila ginoong kaunga ang magkakapitbahay. Oo, Ayan. tama-tama. Dahil kung kayo ay first timer, ay maaari niyong i-comment po sa ating comment section dahil mamaya meron tayong Zoomustahan. Meron tayong fellowship pagkatapos po ng ating afternoon taglish session. Kaya naman, yes. just... Uh, Just right there, I want to zoom in at mamaya ay magpapadala po ang ating mga uh, servants ng Zoom link para sa ating fellowship mamaya. Mm-hmm. Siyempre, kwentuhan mo, naman ka- kwentuhan mo naman kami ngayon, Brother Nico, ng, ano, ng mga nangyayari sa ating Zoomustahan Fellowship. Siyempre, nandun yung pagbabahagi natin ng mga ating mga napakinggan no? sa mga powerful talks ng ating mga teachers. Kaya naman, ay yes. naasahan natin ay tayo para sa kanila. At mamaya, syempre, ating silang kukumustahin. At napaka-special ng araw na ito. No? Bakit nga ba, Sister Ayumi? Yes, grabe. Napaka-special nga namang tunay ng araw na ito. Hindi naman ngayong araw na ito. Ah, Yes, special tong araw na to. Na-confuse na ako sa sarili ko. <laughs> special tong araw na to dahil may makakasama tayong co-preacher. Mamaya, si Brother Tony, di ba? May makakasama siya. Very sino kaya special. yan? At, sino kaya to? <laughs> At gusto lang nating batiin dahil kaarawan niya kahapon, September 4th. Happy birthday, Coach JC Liberan! Hey, hey! Happy, happy birthday po, Coach JC Liberan. At uh, mamaya ay makakasama po natin dito si Brother JC, kasama ni Brother Tony. At syempre, suportahan din po natin ang kanilang breakthrough dahil pagkatapos ng ating taglish session ay kanila namang tea session ang ating masusubaybayan. Kaya, happy, happy, happy birthday po, Coach JC Vibiran. At 
especially ang araw na ito ay napakaganda dahil today we are celebrating also the feast of St. Teresa of Calcutta. Ayan, ang kaibigan ng ating santo rin ang pinakamamahal na si uh, San Papa, uh, Papa Juan Pablo Ikalawa o St. Pope John Paul II. Kaya napaka-special at syempre, special din ang linggong ito, sis, uh, uh, Sister Ayumi, dahil kaarawan ng ating pinakamamahal na ina, no? ang ating Mama Mary. At uh, yan ay sa September 8 sa darating ng Merkulis. Kaya ayan, maraping uh, magaganap na special na mga pagdiriwang ngayong linggong ito. Tama. Siguradong sigurado yan. Ginoong kaungka. And syempre, batiin muna natin ang ating mga kapatid na kasama natin ngayon. Oo, syempre. Batiin natin kung nasaan man kayo ay dyan lang kayo at bawal limabas. <laughs> dyan lang. <laughs> Ayan, batiin natin si Sister Mila Marcelo so, from Balbiwa. <laughs> Nakakaloka. <laughs> kung nasaan man kayo, dyan lang kayo. Huwag kayong maalis. <laughs> okay, at hello there, this is DJ. Hello sa mga manonood natin, Brother Dom Jose, at ang ating mga sumusubaybay sa YouTube, Peace TV. Hello po, magandang hapon. Ayan, sis Janet, hello. Uh, watching from Coronadal City, yeah, Mindanao. And uh, watching from... Uh, okay, ayan. Sige. Brother Arnold! In lupa. And also, ayan, sige. Mamaya po may powerful question kami na sasabihin, na itatanong sa inyo. At uh, siguro, sis Ayumi, no? Habang binabasa Siyempre. natin ang mga comments, ihanda na natin ang ating mga sarili para sa ating powerful question. Ngayong araw na ito, ano nga ba ito, sis Ayumi? Yes, syempre. Alam naman natin, kailangan pa bang i-memorize yan? Linggo-linggo, meron tayong tinatawag na. Question of the week. Ano kaya yan, no. sis Ayumi? And syempre, tatanungin mo. Bago natin tanungin ang ating mga kapatid, ikaw muna ang aking tatanungin, ginoong kaungka. Ang ating question of the week ay, ano ang nagpapasaya sa'yo ngayong panahong ito? Ayan, ano Ayan. ang nagpapasaya sa'yo ngayong, ta- ngayong taong ito, ngayong panahong ito? Siguro ay ang, uh, ito, yung mga ginagawa natin, uh, tiyak na kahit na medyo mahirap dahil virtual lamang ito pero ito yung nagpapasaya sa atin na makita kayo linggo-linggo bago magsimula ang ating work week at uh, also yung ating mga ginagawa araw-araw yung pagtuturo, yung pagtatrabaho natin yan yung mga bagay na nagpapasaya sa atin at nagbibigay inspirasyon dahil kailangan natin magpatuloy sa ating buhay lalong-lalo na sa panahon ng pandemya kailangan natin ipagpatuloy ang mga ginagawa natin upang no, hindi maputol yung karaniwang sistema ng ating uh, buhay so yan ang aking mga dahilan kung bakit patuloy akong nagiging masaya bagamat no bagamat may mga pagsubok sa buhay kaya ikaw sis Ayumi ano ba yung nagpapasaya sa iyo ngayong panahong ito napakagandang segue ginoong ka <laughs> pero ako talaga sumasang-ayon ako sa lahat ng sinabi mo na bukod nga sa lahat ng blessings na natatanggap natin araw-araw isa sa mga nagpapasaya sa akin ay yung Um, yung pagkakataon, mabigyan ng pagkakataon na makapag-serve linggo-linggo kasama ng ating mga kapatid dito sa Peace, ba? Diba? So, alam mo naman, uh, Brother Nico, na bago itong pandemya na ito, uh, isa talaga sa mga namimiss kong gawin nung bago pa mag-pandemic is yung makapag-mission, medical mission, outreach, at sa palagay ko, ito yung isang paraan na makapag-serve at makasama ang ating mga kapatid na parang feeling ko nagmi Well, missionary of Christ nga, ba? Diba? Ayun. Kaya sobrang thankful ako na nakakasama ko kayo. Sige, noong kaungang ka. Lahat ng team natin dito sa Feast Family. Linggo-linggo. At oh, syempre. Oh, Pasahin natin yung mga kasagutan ng ating mga nakasubaybay ngayon. Sabi ni Brother Ramon. Ano nga ba, Sis Ayumi, ang nagpapasaya Ayan. kay Brother Ramon? Ang nagpapasaya kay Brother Ramon, ang nag... <laughs> paulit-ulit, ang nagpapasaya sa akin ngayon, panahon na ito, <laughs> ay yung maging part ng The Peace Family. Yung makakwentuhan, makamustahan, kahit magkakalayo through virtual meeting. O ba diba? Kaya mamaya, kita-kit sa Zoomustahan. 
Ayan, ayon And... naman kay Sis Maika ang nagpapasaya po sa akin na yung aking pamilya. Okay. At uh, akin po yung mga dogs at family ko, think positive lang po, wag lang sa virus mag-positive. <laughs> Totoo yan, no? Think positive, uh-huh. wag lang sa swab test. Ayan, at uh, mga <laughs> nagpapasaya po sa ating lahat ay uh, from Sis Gigi. Ano ba, nagpapasaya kay Sis Gigi? Yan, sabi ni Sis Gigi. kumustahan with friends, di ba? Parang tayo lang, di ba? Yung ating mga virtual kumustahan sa ating mga kaibigan na dati ay uh, nauuwi yan sa Starbucks no at uh, mahabang kwentuhan sa CCT grounds pero ngayon wala na <laughs> dahil kailangan lang nating magpahinga uh, muna at magtago sa ating mga tahanan sis Ayumi at syempre at uh, siguro sis Ayumi no maraming nagpapasaya sa ating buhay kabilang na diyan sama na diyan ang ating araw-araw na programa sa The Feast. Ano nga ba ang ating weekly program, Sis Ayumi? Yes, syempre marami tayo niyan every Monday. Hindi lang tuwing linggo. Lunes hanggang hindi <laughs> lang tuwing linggo. <laughs> Parang medyo sabaw ako ngayon. <laughs> Minaga ba ang ulam mo? <laughs> Mukhang may sabaw. Ang sopas ang ulam namin ngayong tangali. Ayan. Sumula linggo hanggang Sabado. So, i-screenshot nyo lang yan. At meron tayong siguradong mabibless kayo araw-araw. Araw-araw. Ayan ang ating FBAGistic online shows na patuloy na magbibigay sa atin ng inspirasyon. At syempre, no, tuwing ikatlong ha- ng uh, hapon, ay uh, ating ipinagdarasal ang bawat isa dahil meron po tayong Divine Mercy Chaplet. So, Mondays to Saturdays po, alas stress ng hapon. So, baybayan lamang po yan sa ating FB page. Gayun din, kung kayo ay nangakailangan ng kausap at taong makikinig para sa inyo, ano nga ba ito, Sis Ayumi? <laughs> Gusto ko yung ini-intro mo na. Siyempre, naiintindihan natin ginoo kung gaano kahirap ang pinagdaraanan ng lahat ngayong panahon ng pandemyang ito. Especially sa increasing number of cases ng COVID, di ba? Kaya naririto ang Ministry of the Air para makinig sa inyo um, para sa mga COVID patients natin. Especially para sa ating mga COVID patients. We're here and we're ready to listen to you. So Amen. just send us a message sa, face, sa aming Facebook page, uh, Ministry of the Air. And this is led by our dearest Father Bob McConaughey. And syempre... Amen. Alam naman natin at nabanggit mo kanina, ginoong kaungkan na tayo ay nasa bahay lamang, huwag tayong lalabas, kaya meron tayong... Peace Light! Na... Kaya, kaya naman, sa ating Peace Light, ano nga ba yan, sis Ayumi? Kung gusto ba nilang magtayo yan, paano ba nila magagawa yan? Yes, madaling madali lang mga kapatid, di ba nga sabi, every feaster can be a planter. It's an opportunity, a great opportunity to plant friendship, plant love, and share your blessings. Na, kung nabibless kayo ng feast, napakagandang platform nito para mabless nyo rin ang ibang tao. Kaya para tulungan kayo, i-text nyo lang at mag-send kayo ng message kay Sis Jackie Cabales at i-screenshot nyo ang kanyang phone number para makapagtayo kayo ng sarili nyong feast life. Totoo yan. Always remember, every feaster is a planter or can be a planter. That's yes. why if you really want to plant and to bear abundant fruit, let's now join. Ayan, nalalapit na ang ating joyful, joyful. Kaya nga kanina, ang katanungan natin, ano ang nagpapasaya sa'yo? At kabilang na dyan ang pag-attend nyo ng PeaceCon 2021 Joyful, Joyful sa Nobyembre 11 hanggang 21, November 19 to 21. Tickets, case starts at 995 pesos. Maaari kayong mag Register sa www.peaceconference.com Excited na ako para sa nalalapit nating PeaceCon dahil uh, siguro pangalawang taon na natin ito na may PeaceCon online at uh, talagang 
mag-register na tayo. No? Mag-register ka na rin since Ayumi, mamaya pagkatapos oh, oh. dito ay pupunta na ako sa www.feastconference.com <laughs> at mag-register na. Tama. Kita-kits tayo dyan sa Feast Conference. Unting tumbling na lang mga kapatid. At syempre, araw, uh, ngayong linggo na to, kung meron kayong pinagdarasal, gustong ipagdasal, pinagpapasalamat, Just send us a message and our intercessory ministry are here to pray with you. Huwag kayong mahihiya. Type nyo lang yan sa comment section. Kanina may nakita na akong mga prayer intentions. Or kung hindi nyo man gustong itype sa comment section, pwede nyo rin naman kaming senda ng message. At ipagdarasal namin kayo sa mga, mga prayer intentions. Uh, we're here to pray for you Narinito kami upang kayo ay ipagdasal At syempre, habang inihahanda natin ang ating mga sarili Dahil ngayon ay araw ng linggo Marapat na bago tayo magsimula ng ating linggo Ay uh, tayo ay dumalo sa isang banal na minsan Na pamunguan ng ating pinakamamahal na Father Bob Kaya naman po, ayan, bago natin ihanda ang ating mga sarili Inaanyayahan po ang lahat na tumahimik No, pansandan pansumandaling tumahimik muna at ilagay uh, natin ang ating mga sarili sa presensya ng Panginoon, no? Ngayon ay 23rd Sunday, ika-23 linggo ng ordinaryong panahon at ayon sa Ebanghelyo ni San Marcos, ito yung sinabi ng Panginoon, "Epata," no? Magbukas ka. Ano ba ito? Yung pagpapagaling ni Yesu Kristo no? sa isang taong bini at uh, halos hindi na makapagsalita. Na alam natin isang magandang uh, susi no? sa isang komunikasyon ang ating tainga at ang ating bibig. Paalala, dapat natin itong gamitin sa tama. Kaya naman, ihanda natin ang ating mga sarili sa ating banal na misa. Magbabalik po kami muli mamaya. Ginoong kaungka. Binibining Ayumi, kita kits mamaya. God bless! My dear feasters, The past is history. The future is mystery. But in faith, let us begin again. There comes a time when we heed a certain call. When the world must come together as one. There are people dying. Oh, it's time to lend a hand to life, the greatest gift of all. We can go on, pretending day by day, that someone, somewhere to make a change.
every storm will end. Every evening will also end because we have a beautiful morning that will be given by God to us. There's a place in your heart and I know that it is love and this place it was brighter than tomorrow. Let us all pray the Oratio Imperata. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body strength in, in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray, pray for, for us. us. San Roque, pray for, pray for us. San Lorenzo Luis, pray for us. 
San Pedro Calusoy. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Eucharist this 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. God's saving act pertains to the restoration of the whole person, not just to the salvation of the soul. In fact, the future salvation of Israel is described by the prophet Isaiah in terms of the flowering of the dry desert and the healing of a person's faculties. It is in this spirit that we should look at the healing of the deaf-mute man in the Gospel. Jesus comes to open ears and loosen tongues so that people can praise the Heavenly Father and the Son who does all things well. Our priest presider for this Eucharistic celebration is Rev. Father Bob McConnery. Let us all rise to glorify the Lord by singing the ancient song. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. Worship your holy name. I worship your holy name. We come together as God's family, as the light of Jesus' family, as the feast family, with your family, as we begin our Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and the peace of God our Father, the love of the Lord Jesus Christ, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And we welcome all of you to Mass today, especially those of you who are joining us for the first time. We hope that you will discover that this is the most happiest place on earth. But in the meantime, realizing now that we begin the Burr months, this is the beginning of the Christmas season, and Christmas is all about hope even in the midst of seeming hopelessness with 20,000 cases yesterday, there will be light. The Lord will bring us through this. And with that in mind, we come before our merciful Lord, seeking his mercy and forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Peace to God's people on earth. 
Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and received adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. The prophet Isaiah describes Israel's future return from exile as the marvelous healing of the land and the people. Their restoration is the work of the saving God. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication and with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag, and the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert, and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. 
The God of Jacob keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow the Lord sustains. By the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. James writes that faith in the Lord enables us to see Christ in every person. Therefore, we must give reverence to each other, rich and poor alike. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality. As you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ, for if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor person in shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, Sit here, please, while you say to the poor one, Stand there or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters. Did God not choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs to the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the proclamation of the Holy Gospel. Alleluia. Alleluia. Feasters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus left the Tyrian territory and returned by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee, into the district of the Ten Cities. Some people bought him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay hands on him. Jesus took him off by himself, away from the crowd. He put his fingers into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. And then he looked up to heaven and emitted a groan. And he said to him, Epata, that is, be opened. At once the man's ears were opened and he was freed from the impediment and began to speak plainly. Then he enjoined them strictly not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. Their amazement went beyond all bounds. He has done everything well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for the homily. On Thursday night at the beginning of Biblioconia, Dr. Didoy always comes on and shares with us. And last week he was saying, obviously, as a doctor, he has to encounter many, many families, many individuals who are suffering with COVID-19. 
And he said, some of them ask this question. Is Jesus really with us? Is God really with us through all of this? And he said, I can't answer that question, but maybe I can answer a way that we can approach how we should approach God when that answer isn't clear. The story is told, as a matter of fact, of a father who took his young boy, who was about 16 or 17, out into the forest, deep into the forest, where it was very dark. And it was his time to become a man. And the tradition was that the father would take a son out into that forest and go to a clearing where there was some tree stumps. He says, now, son, it's time for you to see if you can pass the test and become a man. Sit on that stump. And so the young boy sat on the stump, and the father said, Now, I'm going to take this blindfold, and I'm going to tie it tightly around your head so that you can see nothing. And this is the test. You must sit on the stump until the sun comes up. You may not scream, you may not yell, you might not call out, you might not get up and walk around, nothing. Sit there and wait. And when you feel the sun on your face, then, and only then, can you take off the blindfold. So he tied the blindfold around his head, and he said, I'll see you in the morning. And so the boy sat there in the silence, but then it wasn't all that silent. The wind began to come up. He could hear the leaves, and they frightened him, even leaves being blown, and the grass around him being blown around. It scared him. And then he wondered, those noises, are they wild animals? Am I going to get attacked? Will some human being come upon me and shoot me? All of these fantasies were going through his mind, all of these fears, all of his worries, and they didn't subside the whole night because about halfway through the night, a thunderstorm, loud thunder, the kind that really scares you when he's in a forest. And so there's going to be lightning. And if the lightning strikes the wood, he knows he's going to be killed instantly. Now the fear is really penetrated through his whole body. And he was unable to move. He was so scared. But then the storm subsided. The thunder stopped. The rain began to stop. And now he sat there in the silence again, hearing noises from different parts of the forest, staying in fear until finally he felt the sunlight on his face. And with that, he felt such a feeling of relief. And he quickly took off the blindfold and turned to his right. And when he turned to his right, there was his father sitting on a stump next to him. The father didn't leave the stump the entire night. He sat there silently guarding his son from all harm. And he said to his son, now you are a man. It's kind of like that with us during these times that we have been going through and that we continue to go through. It's like sitting on that stump. Will this ever end? Will the nightmare, the night ever end? When are we going to finally be able to take the masks off, not over our eyes, but over our mouths, and be able to gather again? How do we deal with the fear, the anxiety, the sitting on the stump while we wait? For the sunlight. Well, Dr. Didoy that night said, there is one thing you might want to try, and it involves your breathing. Be aware of your breathing. And he said, when you breathe in, breathe that you're taking in Jesus. Jesus, I take you in. And when you breathe out, he said, breathe out your anxiety. Breathe out your fear and do that over and over and over again and you will get more quiet inside. Brother Bo has another approach to it. He said, you know, it is impossible to feel anxiety when you are experiencing and thinking about your blessings. 
So he said, during these times, a good thing to do, it might take two days, it might take a week, but he said, write down 100 blessings that are in your life. The big blessings, but also the small blessings. You're able to walk, that's a blessing. You're able to raise your arms above your head in praise of the Lord, that's a blessing. Some people can't do that. You're able to not worry where your next meal is coming from. People on the street do. And he said, write down until you get to 100. And any time you begin to feel anxiety, begin reading all 100 all at once, and the anxiety, he said, will disappear. And in terms of getting over really rough times, he said, look back on your life. See some of the really rough times that you've had. How did you get over them? Think about that. How did you get over losing your job? How did you get over passing the, not passing the test? And that will give you some wisdom about how to deal with something that you cannot control right now, namely this virus. Our gospel is a gospel of freedom, liberation, and fearlessness. It really truly is. Isaiah reminded us of that, didn't he, at the very beginning. To those who are frightened, he said, don't be frightened. The truth is that the Lord has already found the way and calls us to follow it. The church has always been a healing church. In today's gospel, very interesting, isn't it, that usually when our Lord performs a miracle, there's a crowd around. In this case, a crowd brings the deaf and dumb man to be healed. Now, our Lord could have done it right there and then, but he didn't. He took the deaf and dumb man away by himself so that nobody else could see the miracle. That teaches something important. The people excitedly bought him for a healing. That's what you and I do. When we pray for someone who is in the hospital, someone who was just diagnosed with COVID, as today we will pray, of course, for Brother Audie. Brother Audie's mom and sister are in the hospital with COVID. He's had a rough couple of days. I talked to him last night. His faith is still very, very strong. They are getting better. So we'll put some more prayers into this particular mass for his mom and his sister. But in the meantime, know that the Lord heals at a deeper level than we can see. Sometimes it's a miraculous physical healing sometimes. And sometimes it's a healing that we don't even notice or see. You see, God's presence is big enough to fill the entire universe with his love and small enough to cuddle up in the deepest part of our souls where he takes us off by ourselves and seeks in the quiet of those moments to give us peace, to give us peace, even in the midst of our illnesses. You know, there is a prayer, a beautiful prayer that I'm going to suggest that you pray when you get sick or that you pray for someone you know is sick or that you can give them to it, this prayer to save themselves. My classmate and my buddy, Father Larry Hess, he has since passed on, a wonderful priest, head of the charismatic movement in my diocese. He wrote a prayer. In fact, he spoke the prayer, and then someone wrote it down. He spoke it at a meeting, and they wrote it down, and, and then they made a prayer card of it, out of it. This was way back in the early 80s. And then the prayer card began to take on a life of its own and was sent all over the world. As a matter of fact, I remember seeing one of those prayer cards many years ago. But now you can see it online. You simply have to put Father Larry Hess Healing Prayer. That's Father Larry Hess Healing Prayer. And you will read this prayer. It's beautiful. Heavenly Father, I call on you right now in a special way. It is through your power that I was created. Every breath I take, every morning I wake, every moment of every hour I live under your power. 
For if you created me from nothing, you can certainly recreate me. Fill me with the healing power of your spirit. Cast out anything that should not be in me. Mend what is broken. Root out any un unproductive cells. Open up any blocked arteries or veins and rebuild any damaged areas. Remove all inflammation and cleanse any infection. Let the warmth of your healing love pass through my body to make new any unhealthy areas so that my body will function in the way you created it to function. Father, restore me to full health in mind and body and spirit so I may serve you the rest of my life. I ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, that's Google, Father Larry Hess, healing prayer. There is a sacrament of healing, you know. Some people call it the last rites, and so they'll wait and call the priest right when the person is ready to die or right after they die. But in the early church, you know, it wasn't that way, and as a result of that, the sacrament of the sick, especially its need in this time, is very misunderstood. Briefly, let me tell you that the biblical root of it is that it was practiced. Healing was practiced in the New Testament. In fact, if we go to the first letter of James, he says, Is there anyone sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him and anoint him in the name of the Lord. And this prayer, made in faith, will save the sick person. And if he or she has committed any sins, they'll all be forgiven. So we entrust you to the power of the Holy Spirit that the Lord may ease your sufferings and grant you pardon and peace. And then James would say, through the church would add on to that. When we put oil on the forehead and on the palms of the, the hands, through this holy anointing, may our Lord in his love and mercy help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May our Lord who frees you from sin, save you and raise you up. So there are two actions then. And that's sacrament. There is healing and there is forgiving. Now, as the church went through the centuries, not much was put on healing, not much emphasis. The emphasis was on forgiveness of sins. And then the emphasis even more than that was on the final opportunity to have your sins forgiven, what we would call extreme anointing or extreme unction. A lot of people are afraid of that. One of my seminarians one time asked me if I would give the sacrament of the sick to his mother. She was in intensive care. She wasn't dying, but she needed the sacrament of the sick. And I said, sure. He called me an hour later. The sisters of his mother were at the hospital. And they said, no, don't have father come over and do that or she'll die. Because they had in mind that that sacrament is received only when you get sick, and it might be bad luck. It might be bad luck. I said, tell me when the sisters aren't there. And then I went over, and I gave her the sacrament of the sick, and she got well. There are times when you give the sacrament of the sick that there is a physical healing. There is always, always a spiritual healing, because at the deepest part, of the sick person that you don't see and cannot even experience it because of the look that might be on their face, at the deepest part of their soul, when they receive that sacrament, they are put at peace. They truly are. And then they are justified. They have their sins forgiven, just as if they'd never sinned, just as if they'd never done that. I love giving the sacrament of the sick. I was doing it up until June, going to the intensive care units, but now, unfortunately, and especially with the variant, they will not let us in, even though we've been jabbed. And what I do when I do a virtual sacrament of the sick is something a little bit different. A lot of people will call me for that. Father, can you do a prayer over, a pray over, a virtual sacrament of the sick? A sacrament must be in person. However, the spiritual benefits of that sacrament 
don't need me to be there. For example, you'll recall the Pope said in March of 2020 that if you're unable to go to a confession because there's no priest available, and there is no priest available, he said, go directly to God. Be specific in your examination of conscience. Be specific as you confess your sins. And with sorrow, at the moment you confess them, they are instantly forgiven. You say a good act of contrition. And then you say a few prayers and your penance for the frontliners. The same action that the priest would perform by saying, I absolve you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God the Father does that. So also with the sacrament of the sick. If you ask me to give you a virtual sacrament of the sick, I will pray over your loved one who is either in the hospital or at home by way of messenger. I will not be able to anoint them. I will probably say the prayer of Father Larry Hess along with a couple of other prayers that hopefully will put your loved one at peace. The action of them receiving that is not for me when we talk about the sacrament. It's what the church calls ecclesia suplet, meaning the church supplies truthfully. At the moment that I'm doing those prayers, it is Jesus who is doing the anointing, not me. It is Jesus that is forgiving the sins, not me. It is Jesus that's giving that deep sense of peace, not me. So understand that I will be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you have a loved one who's in intensive care in the hospital, if you could ask the nurses to put up a video conference with me and that person, I will give them a virtual prayers of healing, and the Lord will, will give them that sacrament himself. Understand something, and this, this is, is interesting. At the moment of death, and the Pope said this, this is not my opinion. The Pope said that if a priest is unable to come to the hospital, especially the intensive care wards, and somebody has COVID, at the moment of death, that person receives a plenary indulgence, which means no purgatory. They go straight to heaven. So if there's one positive about being in intensive care and not being able to get well, it's at the moment of death, they will be ecstatically happy. I'll close with this. There is a, there is a, a piece of prayer that all of you know but I think maybe it would be good to remind you of it again, and I will close with this. I have a good friend. He was a seminarian, and he got a thing that his hypothalamus here, I, I forget the name exactly of it, uh, hyperthyroid, thank you, Charles, hyperthyroidism. And we were able to, to help him. My friends in the United States pay for the entire treatment. And I had known John for years. He had a very, very difficult life, came from a very poor family, did the best he could in working to take care of his mom and his brother and his sisters. And it was a tough life for him. And then he got this hyperthyroidism, and my friends in the States were able to pay for him to get his, his therapy, on, which is, is very, very expensive, but they paid for it. And he got well. Last April and May, he got well. And then come summertime, come July, August, he was able to get a job on Ayala Avenue and was so happy. He was beginning to wait, gain weight again. And then at age 28, last week, he got COVID. Whenever you have radiation for hyperthyroid, as any doctor will tell you, your white cells get lower. So his immune system was not good. When he got the COVID, he got it real bad. And he sent me a picture of himself, and he was on the high, the high incident oxygen. And he said to me, Father Bob, pray for me, which I did. And then he sent me another message. Father Bob, could you anoint me? I wanted so much to go to the hospital to anoint them, but they wouldn't let me in. 
So I prayed for him in the way that I just told you. And then finally, the last message I got, Father, help me. I don't want to die. And on Thursday night, during Biblia Konia at 8.15, he died. A tragic death. No doubt about it. But remember what I said. Jesus took him off to the side. You see, the sacrament of the sick, our prayers for the sick, they always work. And in that beautiful, beautiful piece of poetry called Footprints in the Sand, it gives us the clue to what really happens. Once a young man dreamt that he was walking along the beach with the Lord, and before him in the sky he saw scenes from his whole life. And for every scene there were two sets of footprints, one belonging to him and one belonging to the Lord. When he got to the last scene, he noticed that for all the scenes in his life that were troubling scenes, scenes where he felt pain and went through sorrow, there was only one set of footprints, and this bothered him, and he asked the Lord about it. He said, Lord, once I followed you, you told me you would always be with me, and that you would never leave me. And yet, I see only one set of footprints in those most troubling times. And the Lord said to him, my son, my precious son, I would never abandon you. You see, it was during those times that I carried you with COVID. 99% of the time, our Lord carries you to healing through the medicines, through the help of the doctors and nurses. 1% of the time, on the other hand, he carries you but he carries you home to that place that eye has not seen or hear, has, ear has heard, nor has it ever occurred to the mind of man what God has in store for those who love him. And that is your loved one who is experiencing that ecstatic joy that they got with the plenary indulgence at the moment of their death, and they will see you one day where every tear will be wiped away. Let us together profess what we believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now trusting in the healing power of our, the Lord Jesus, we come before him with our prayers and our needs, especially those who are ill with COVID-19. Our response will be, heal us, O Lord. Heal us, O Lord. May the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons continue to become instrument of the Lord's healing through their administration of the Sacrament of Reconciliation, we pray. Heal us, O Lord. 
May the Lord work through all medical experts and frontliners who are fighting COVID-19. May they find strength in those who show them love and compassion, we pray. Heal us, O Lord. May the leaders of our nation speak out bravely against evil that destroys the dignity of human person and conservation of the world, we pray. Heal us, O Lord. That the lonely, the migrants, the handicapped, and those who are entangled with pain and separation may experience God's companionship through the care of their communities, we pray. Heal us, O Lord. May all those who mourn the passing of their loved ones find strength and consolation in the loving embrace of God. We Heal pray. us, O Lord. For the prayer intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for the month of September, that we all will make courageous choices for a simple and environmentally sustainable lifestyle, rejoicing in our young people who are resolutely committed to this, we pray. Heal us, O Lord. And in the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intentions and all intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. Heal us, O Lord. Let us pray, especially this morning, for the mother and sister of our dear brother Audi, and especially for to all people who are feasters, who are those who are sick, either in the hospital or at home. Let us pray to the Lord. Heal us, O Lord. These are our prayers, Heavenly Father, and trust and confidence and hope. We place them before you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the Liturgy of the Eucharist. Bless to you, Lord, God of all creation, for it is through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless to you, Lord, God of all creation, for it is through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, a work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. My dear feasters, pray that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope forever to be in your presence and enjoy the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. <laughs> Oh, 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly and was passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that sharing in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, especially in Afghanistan, and bring us to the fullness of your charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Cardinal, Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. sing to Abba, our Heavenly Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. trespass against us Ooh. and lead us not into temptation but deliver us 
from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Share a gift of that peace with each other. Peace be with you, Father. And with your spirit. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called by name to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us all pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. In Him alone is our home. In Him alone is our strength. Justified in Him alone are we saved. In Him alone is our hope. In Him alone is our strength.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I want to mention again two things. If you want to find that prayer, Google Father Larry Hess Healing Prayer. If you would like me to virtually pray over someone who might be in bed with COVID at your home or at the hospital, please simply to our Facebook page or right to the Feast at Home Facebook page, the one you're watching right now. Just send a message, and they will give you a way to get a hold of me. My phone will always be on, and my, my green light on my phone will await that call. It doesn't matter what time of the day or night, and perhaps in the next in the next month or so, we can get some of our other feast priests involved for taking a day to do precisely that. It's an important, important ministry. And so, may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and your families to remain being with you and to care for you both now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You have begun your day well. Now stay with us in the peace of Christ. Thank be to God. Healer of the broken, Savior of the fallen, things new, restoring all that's barren, you break through every dead end, you make all things new. as it is, joy seems few and far between. These days, the resilience and grit required just to make it through makes it seem like there's no room for what seems to be such a futile thing. With all the stress, anxiety, difficulty, sickness, and death, where is joy to be found?
cheese pizza. Through the generosity of the feast, we're able to put up several community pantries and do outreach programs to our communities. My plans! Manood ng movie sa gabi bago matulog. Hey there, syempre. Ikaw, concerts. Chicken Joy makes me happy. K-pop makes me happy. Music makes me happy. Dogs and babies make me happy. Coffee. Cold Chaparado. What makes you happy? The the baby! Baby! Listening to people's stories of how our God blessed them makes me happy. Spending spontaneous quality time with my family. Being with my family kind of gives me now. Driving around to the Lugang Tatat to watch the sunset. When people line up for confession. When I talk to my grandchildren who are always abroad. Knowing that I have a loving wife and son and knowing that they are safe and healthy. When we pray the rosary every night. To touch, save, and even change lives. Spending time with my wife and my son makes me happy. Technology, because I get to talk to my family despite the distance. The hope that today is better than yesterday and the best is yet to come. Family! You! What makes you happy? What puts a smile on your face and in your heart? Joy is such a wonderful thing. I mean, it lifts us up, it comforts those who are in pain, and it gives hope to those who do not have hope anymore. Let me tell you that where you find joy is as important as the joy itself. Think about it. Where does your joy come from? Does it come from your passions? Yes. Hobbies? Favorite food? Mmm. And? Of course, our friends, family, God Himself. And so here at the Feast Conference, we gather together in celebration of all these places and people where we find joy. The Feast Conference is jam-packed with talks and classes and worship and all the good stuff where joy can be found because God is the source of our joy. But let me tell you that there is a joy that maybe you are not aware of. God finds joy. Where? Get ready to be shocked. He finds joy in you. He loves you and you are His delight. God delights in you. With all your flaws and shortcomings, God still finds joy in you, with you. So when strength is lacking and your joy is nowhere to be found, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and look around with the eyes of recognition. Because though everything else makes you think otherwise, know this truth. There is still joy. Joy is in you. Hello, Feast family, and a blessed Sunday to all of us, and welcome to our Taglish 
session. Before we go into our opening worship, I want to invite you to our giving today and know that what you are going to extend, we are knocking at the generosity of your hearts today. You are helping us, the Feast family, together as one, help those who are in need at this time. We are reaching out to many, many, many Feast Mercy Ministries, kagaya ng nakita yung video before this, and know that as you give, you are helping the least, the last, and the lost. And know that God loves a cheerful giver. And we give not out of our excess, but even out of our need. And definitely, God will downpour into your life what you give away without counting the cost. He will return, knowing that His time is always perfect. For our succeeding videos, brothers and sisters, please do take notice as well and take a screenshot of the details for your giving and again maraming maraming salamat sa inyong generosity in advance today be blessed as we will be blessed by god's love see you in a while god bless you we shall overcome we shall shall overcome someday deep in my heart I do Show overcome. 
heaven, we thank you. We know that we can never outdo you in your generosity. Ikaw ang una nagbigay, ikaw ang una nagsakripisyo. At ngayon, tumutugun din kami sa sakripisyo na magbigay ng aming uh, parte ng aming kinita, parte ng aming biyaya. Binabalik namin sa iyo, ang galing sa iyo. At alam namin, ito'y babalik sa amin ng siksik, liglig at umaapaw sa maraming paraan. Kagalakan, kagalingan, at uh, ang, ang ligaya na kami ay nakatulong sa iba. So we give with smiles on our faces and joy in our hearts. We give to the Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. A blessed Sunday, my brothers and sisters. I just want to invite you to just worship with us today. Free up your mind from all the worries and the anxieties of this world and just bask in the goodness and blessings of our Lord in this place called God's Great Dance Floor. I'm coming back to the start where you found me. I'm coming back to your heart. Now I surrender. Take me this is all I can bring
Thank you, God. We continue to give praise to our Lord wherever you are. Let's type in the comment section, I am blessed. I am blessed. Amen. Amen. And thank you again, dear friends. Welcome to the Feast Family 1.30 p.m. Taglish session. Kung saan man po kayo sa mundo, can you type your friends, your loved ones, itag nyo sila ngayon sa comment section and let's just spread God's love wherever we are, no? And again, thank you for being with us. This is your uh, preacher from 1.30pm uh, session, Brother Tony Valenzuela, and I'm excited that I am not the only one here today to bring to you God's word. But wherever you are, I hope you are safe. We hope you are well and healthy right now. And we continue to dance in God's great dance floor. Tama po ba? If you believe in this, type in the comment section, I believe, I believe, I believe. And yes, today we are wrapping up our ongoing series. Napakaganda tong series na to. We hope that you were blessed as we were blessed to bring this message, God's message to you through our ongoing series, HEAL. No? HEAL, hindi lang yan isang uh, word, pero acronym siya about where we talked about hope, encouragement, aspiration, and love. No? And together, we grew, we learned, and we loved God even more as we heal through this crisis to where Christ is. And know, dear friends, that we are here open armed to welcome you, to journey with you, and to just share God's love with you even more, even if virtual tayo sa ngayon. And today is our wrap-up talk, talk number four, as we talk about love. Yeah, no? Love. And our co-preacher, Mamaya, as I welcome him in a while, he will talk more about this. And this is something we need more at this time, mas lalo sa panahon ngayon, no? But as we start God's message for us today, we pray our favorite prayer here at the Feast. Ready? Let's do this. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Together, sabay-sabay, we declare, Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's Word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved, I am God's servant, and I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Sa ng Ama, Anak, at Diyos Espiritu Santo. Friends, the fact that you are watching and listening in right now, whether live or team replay, it means that you are alive. God has blessed you with another day. God has given you another step to move forward and to receive His love so you too can give His love. Kung ready kayo, type in the comment section, I'm ready! Okay, now here we go friends. We're excited. Ako mismo excited ako. Why? Because our co-preacher is not just man of the hour, but he's also man of the day dahil kaka-celebrate niya lang. We're still celebrating his birthday from yesterday, September 4. So friends, let's give all of our love as we welcome with joy and with, with celebration, Coach JC Libiran. Coach! Hey, one! <laughs> hey, Tony! Happy high five! High five! High five! High five! Long time no see, brother! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So blessed to be back here. Happy Maraming birthday! Salamat, Tony, and yes, let's celebrate mm -hmm. life together. Uh, sabi nga raw, di ba? Kahit na ikaw ay magbe-birthday once a year, huwag mong hintayin yun, no? Bakit? Oh, Kasi the moment that, uh, ayan, gising ka, every gising is a blessing, and today is a Amen. new beginning. Kaya kapatid, hindi ko lang birthday, pero birthday mo rin. So, happy birthday, Tony! Ooh, happy, happy birthday, happy everyone! Birthday. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday nating lahat pala! <laughs> Tama. And that will be a good excuse na hindi ka man libre. Dapat man libre ang lahat, di ba? <laughs> Ay, oo! Oh, oh, mas lalo ngayon, Coach JC, Burmans ngayon, hmm. oh, di ba? Oh, di ba? Oh, anyway, Hello, no? bro Tony. Again, I agree with you. This has been a blessing. This uh, series, and feel free, no, to celebrate that yes. as well in the chat box because uh, um, we we had a break of our normal series, and oh. we builders, no, by brother Bo together with brother Alvin, we we are challenged, no, na to come up with our own 
uh, talk and uh, talagang something good will also come out no of crisis and dahil may mga hugot tayo, may mga hanash, may True. mga pinagdadaanan. Ayan po, now you were able to True. give birth uh, even inspired by Father Michael, no? Yung kanyang yes. from our crisis to where Christ, Christ is. Kaya is. tamang-tama, no? This will be our culminating um talk and uh, I'm excited to share that with them, most especially as well, no? Uh, not just me, Later on, no, we'll be having Brother Alvin and, of course, yes. uh, Brother Tony will be sharing more on this. Brother Tony? Woo-hoo. Thank you, Coach JC. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Can we just type in the comment section? Thank you, Brother Tony. Ayan, tamang-tama po. Maraming maraming salamat. It's been a blessing to be here. And yes, no, just like uh, this uh, slide says, no, celebrate life today. Let's celebrate life together. And uh, let me repeat that again. Every gising is a blessing. Today is a new beginning and for me i just wanted just to thank no all the people who have greeted me those people who have uh yeah, made my day special no not just my family my friends but even on social media uh even those people who are giving their testimonials sharing diba? Dati, dati, you're asking for it but now people will just come out and they will just share how they have been blessed and alam nyo, in in this particular thing that i'm sharing with you it only shows that even in pandemic we can actually celebrate Totoo po yan, no? Na hindi po lahat ay doom and gloom. Uh, the, the mere fact that you're here, you're joining us, you made the decision to listen to God's word, to uh, have this recharge, to be inspired, it only means to say that there's still uh, that uh, important thing that you're holding on. And that is the life, no? That God has given us. And of course, no? It's very important as well that we don't just... Uh, celebrate it for ourselves but we need to share this to people and that's why allow me not to uh, also shift no our gears and our emotions i wanted to ask you this uh, questions and reflect on this no uh, kapatid pagod ka na ba <laughs> at nagkakasakit dahil sa crisis na ito itong pandemic na meron tayo at nagtatanong ka ba na kailan ba matatapos ito no uh, ramdam mo ba to na feeling down demotivated ka, depressed, and uh, do you feel like giving up? Na feeling mo, pasan-pasan mo ang lahat ng problema. It was, it is overwhelming to the point that you you don't know what to do next. No, And when you see around, no, the people around you on social media, yung balita, people are losing hope, purpose, loved ones, no, yung trabaho nila, negosyo na apektuhan, opportunities has been taken uh, away from them, and the list goes on and on. Nakaka-relate po ba kayo? Sige, everyone take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, and I feel you, and I understand you. And uh, wala po kong sagot sa lahat ng mga katanungan at problema natin, but uh, here's what I want to share with you. I'm here for you. Nandito ko para sa'yo. And feel free, just uh, encourage people in the chat box, I'm here for you. If you have someone beside you, tell to them, I'm here for you. Nandito ko para sa'yo. And again, my name is Coach Jace Libia. I'm so blessed to be able to serve here um, and uh, to uh, continue no, to uh, inspire and add value to people online, offline, and uh, in the face also that we lead no, um, and uh, in the many capacities I do as well. Um, Tamang-tama, no, friends, kasi when you look around, no, parang yung perspective ng mga tao, parang ganito eh. I want you to take a look at this no, statement and I want you to read this with me. This statement, God is nowhere. Parang, oo nga, Coach JC, totoo yan, parang nowhere to be found. Parang as if, nag-vacation ba si Lord ngayong panahon ng pandemic? Iniwan niya ba tayo? Pinabayaan niya ba tayo? No? At uh, you can't help, no? But to question Him. But maybe, my dear friends, my invitation for you is instead of just looking at this statement, God is nowhere, maybe we need to shift our perspective. We need to shift our minds, our hearts, and we focus on this. God is now here. God is now here. Nandito ang Diyos. God is with us. And if you believe in that, you can put a plus sign no, in the comment section. And uh, really, it's a declaration na hindi tayo iniwan ng Diyos. Hindi, hindi niya tayo pinabayaan. Maaring tayo, nakakalimot. And uh, it's now our turn as well no, to not just uh, read this, but believe this. Have this conviction, my dear friends. Alam nyo, for the past uh, weeks, we've been blessed by this series, Heal, Hope, Encouragement, Aspiration, and we'll talk about love today, Healing Through Crisis to Where Christ Is. And we'll be, we've been circling around 
no, paikot-ikot parang uh, coach, uh, paulit-ulit yung kwento natin. Hindi ba pwedeng mag-move on na tayo? Hindi ba parang gano'n rin ang pakiramdam natin na parang hindi tayo makapag-move on sa sitwasyon? Pero we just have to take a look at different angles. Baka mayroon pang gustong sabihin si Lord sa atin. Kaya iimbitahan ko po kayo, no? Na let, let's continue to look, no? Uh, and we've been blessed, no? As we look into the different angles, no? And again, we're gonna look at this uh, perspective on love sa ating mong topic today. Not just God's love, but also our love for one another ngayong panahon ng pandemic. And we've been circling around the characters such as Jairus. Nakita natin yung uh, bleeding woman. And then, of course, today we're gonna zoom in um, the Jairus' daughter. No, uh, I'm gonna ask you again, this will be another opportunity for us to extract kung ano ba ang mensahe ng Diyos para sa atin. So kapatid, ready ka na ba? Kasi kung ready ka na, Excited na ang Diyos na ibigay sa iyo ang mensahe ngayong araw na ito. Amen? And again, God says to each one of us, I'm here for you. And dito ang Diyos para sa iyo. I'm here for you. Amen? Ah, alam nyo, tamang-tama, because uh, we are here in the what we call new normal, and the new normal is work from home. Naalala nyo pa ba ng mga times na tayo ay uh, pre-pandemic at uh, sobrang tindi ng traffic? Yes? At nandiyan na rin no, yung pag-commute, no, visit na visit ka, dami mga hugot, mga memes about it. And um, we would we would actually pray no, na sana dumating yung time na magkaroon ng work from home setup. And then boom, pandemic hit us. And then alam natin na ano, eto na, no, na uh, we are actually having this new normal of people working at home, even their businesses. And maybe some of you can relate with that. Ako personally talagang na-experience ko yan sa buhay ko na pre-pandemic face-to-face -face encounter pero nung nag-pandemic kinabahan ako na takot papano na ang di ba ating uh, livelihood but uh, thanks be to God we were able to shift and pivot and uh, now uh, fast forward ayan I continue to learn online I continue to uh, do a lot of content creation and uh, really uh, I can say no na kahit na pandemic po ngayon nakapag um, grow tayo no nakapag thrive no uh, at nakatulong sa iba. In fact, now, pag-pray nyo po ko because this is something that I'm doing now. I'm looking after Inspirepreneurs. These are the people who are in the business of inspiring people. No, I help uh, aspiring creative entrepreneurs to discover and monetize their genius and become a force for good. Uh, and they themselves have made the decision na talagang ito ang work from home. Ito na ang new normal. Pero I'll be honest with you, na hindi po lahat ng tao ha, nag agree dyan. Yung iba talagang gusto pa rin pumalik sa dati. Uh, in fact, one of my friends, no, nagkikwentuhan kami, and we were really tossing these ideas. And talagang tutol na tutol siya. Sabi niya, alam mo, uh, Coach JC, ayoko nung work from home. Talagang hindi ko ma-imagine yan. Uh, sabi ko, bakit? No? Sabi niya, in fact, talagang hindi ko ma-imagine yung tatay ko. No, dadali niya yung trabaho sa bahay. Sabi ko, why are you making this a big deal? Ano ba trabaho ng tatay mo? Eh, coach, ikaw ba naman ang tatay mo, ano, imbalsamador? Eh, ewan ko na lang kung di ka matakot. O, di ba? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. And then maybe you're asking, so, coach, ano ang connect nito sa ating uh, talk today? Well, I'm gonna say to you, friends, that um, hindi lang po Sadducees at Pharisees ang galit na galit kay Jesus. Ito lang, assumption ko lang po ha, galit rin sa kanya ang mga imbalsamador. <laughs> Bakit? Because Jesus is not just in the business of healing people. Jesus is also in the business of raising dead people. O di ba? Ito lang nawalan sila ng trabaho. Ito, I wanted to let you know that uh, there are three recorded, uh, at least in the gospel, and I believe marami pa yan. No? Particularly, um, uh, itong story ni Lazarus, alam natin yan, no? This is found in John chapter 11, verses 1 to 46. And we hear the words of Jesus, Lazarus, come out. There was, again, even a delay there. No? At uh, nagtampo sa kanya si Mary, tsaka di ba, si Martha. Pero in the end, ang Panginoon Diyos pa rin ang nagpabuhay, no? sa patay na si Lazarus. And then we have another story from Luke chapter 7, verses 11 to 17. And this is about the widow's son. Uh, this is in Nain, and ang sabi ni Jesus, Young man, I tell you, get up. And then today, we are zooming in. Again, in Jairus' daughter, in Mark chapter 5, verses 22 to 23, and verses 35 to 43, and Jesus said to Jairus' daughter, Little girl, get up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Parang pag titingnan mo, Coach JC, 
walang imposible sa Diyos. Amen? Kayang buhay ni Jesus ang patay at kung kayang gawin niya ng Diyos, mga kapatid, ikaw rin sa buhay mo. And I'm not just talking, talking only about physical death, I'm also talking about maybe the dead dreams na ibinao mo na sa limot kasi pandemic na. No, wala nang kapag-apag-asa. Katapusan ko na to. No, hanggat buhay ka kapatid at humihinga, ibig sabihin, God can still raise you up. Amen? And I'll be inviting you now, if you have your Bibles with you, to raise it up. You can even extend your hands towards it or just put both of your hands near your hearts and feel your heartbeat because definitely the Lord will speak to us today. Amen? Let's sing to the Word of God. Thy Word, O God. Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. We praise you, Lord, and we thank you. And speak to us, to Lord, to us, Lord, once again. Amen and amen. And mga patid, ang paalala sa ate, no? Kahit na ilang beses natin dinaanan ng mga kwento na ito, laging merong minsahin ng Dios. And definitely, baka hindi mo na gets ng talk one, di ba? Talk two, talk three. Pero ngayon hihirit ulit sa yung Dios. So ready ka na ba? Let's begin. So this is actually found now in uh, Mark chapter five, verses twenty-two. To 23. And it says here, Then a leader of the local synagogue whose name was Jairus arrived. And again, if you're going to take a look at it, siya ay kilala in terms of authority, in terms of yung kanyang posisyon that, that uh, he holds. No? And when he saw Jesus, he fell at his feet. Wow. Isang napakataas na posisyon, nagpakumbaba. And even saying here, showing desperation, pleading fervently with him. My little daughter is dying, he said. Please come and lay your hands on her. Heal her so she can live. And I just want you for a moment just to absorb that. Grabe, no? Yung parang put yourself in the shoes of that man. Mataas na posisyon, nagpakumbaba, willing na ibaliwala at kay ano pang sabihin ng iba dahil sa napakahalaga ng mahal niya sa buhay. I can feel that because I am a father myself. And if anything happens to my child, if anything happens to my loved ones, I'm sure kayo rin, gagawin niyo po ang lahat. Kaya nga, I can't help. Ang una pong uh, song, no? OPM song na anala ko, yung kay Angeline Quinto, feeling ko, ito yung parang gustong sabihin, express ni Jairus. No? Kuni muna ang lahat sa akin. Huwag lang ang aking mahal. Huwag lang, huwag lang ang aking mahal. I'm making it light, no? Pero alam nyo kung ganong kadesperado si Jairus dahil sa wala na akong pakialam. Kung ano pang sabihin ng iba, higit na mahalaga sa akin ang aking mahal na anak. Ang pinakamamahal ko. And I can connect with this, my dear friends, no? You know that uh, my wife, Milen, ah, We're turning 10 years no? uh, this coming December as husband and wife, and we celebrate that gift of love. And you've heard about our story that uh, after four failed pregnancies, five years of waiting, uh, finally, now we celebrate our dear Yana, celebrating her life as well uh, this coming December 2021. And I'm just putting myself in the place of Jairus. Nag-iisang anak yung anak ni Jairus tas nagkasakit and even to the point of dying I, I cannot just imagine friends kung ganong katindi ang nararamdaman niya so how about you no <laughs> sa mga mahal mo sa buhay and we've seen a lot of people lost uh, loved ones no uh, the story of covid is becoming closer and closer sa pamilya natin to the point that even the whole family So I believe we have that experience as well of Jairus, of being in humility and desperation. Lord, kailangan ka namin sa buhay namin. Kaya kapatid, no? uh, hindi aksidente nandito ka ngayon. At napakalagang paalala na talaga life is precious and that's why, listen to this, listen to this. Be all out in loving. Never delay love. Huwag kang magmaramot pagdating sa pagmamahal at pag-ibig mo sa iyong mga mahal sa buhay at sa kapwa mo. Kaya tamang-tama, this will bring us, my dear friends, to the three truths 
about love. How many? Tatlo po. And let's begin with the first one. Unang-una, when you speak about love, love knows no boundaries. Limitless. You see, nag-iisang anak lang. No? Ang, uh, nag-iisa lang ang anak ni Jairus. And I'm sure, bago siya lumapit sa Panginoon Diyos, marami na siyang kinonsulta na iba't ibang doktor. O di ba, naalala niyo ba yung bleeding woman? Ang dami na rin kinonsulta. Pero in the end, nabalitaan niya na itong Jesus na ito, na hindi lang guro, pero mapaghimala at nagpapagaling. So talagang sabi niya, ah, I'm gonna take the chance now. No? Puputaan ko siya. No? And again, with humility, with desperation, he went to Jesus. Now, medyo kakaiba kasi naalala nyo yung Roman centurion, humingi rin ng tulang, tulong kay Jesus. Pero hindi mo naramdaman doon yung humility tsaka yung kanyang desperation. Basta humingi siya ng tulong kay Jesus. Di ba? Grabe no? Si Lord, hindi namimili na ikaw ba nagtiwala ka sa akin? Ikaw lang ang tutulungan ko. Ikaw lang ang pagagalingin ko. Hindi. Kahit pa, hindi buong-buo ang tiwala mo, si Jesus will still attend to your needs. Love knows no boundaries. And this is also a reminder for us, my dear friends, no? na sa buhay natin, ang Diyos talagang gagawin ng lahat para sa ating lahat. This is uh, a chance now for us also no, to also remember the many times na ang Panginoon Diyos sinamahan tayo, tinulungan tayo, at uh, minahal tayo sa kabila ng ating mga pagkukulang, sa kabila ng ating mga pagkakamali. And that's why, again, Truth number one, love knows no boundaries. Kapatid, kung ang Panginoon Diyos talagang kung magbahal sobra-sobra at walang ifs and buts, walang condition, question, how about you? Sa sarili mo, sa ibang tao, sa kapwa mo. This brings us now, friends, to, to truth number two. And again, just letting you know, na as I shared these truths to you, the truth hurts. Aray, Coach JC, ouch! Okay lang po, nantamaan tayo talaga. <laughs> Kasi the truth hurts, but the truth will set us free. Amen? And that truth has a name. His name is Jesus. Let's have now truth number two. And truth number two speaks about love empowers us to take a leap of faith. And here we are reminded, friends, no? I believe you still remember it from our previous talk, these lines of Jesus. From Mark chapter 5, verse 35, Jesus said, do not be afraid. Just have faith. And this was at the time that he was attending to that bleeding woman. By the way, I was actually trying to research na nung time round na si uh, bleeding woman ay humawak kay Jesus. We never can tell. Baka yun raw yung pagkakataon rin na binawian ng buhay yung bata. Na parang iisipin mo, sagit lang, no? parang kinuwa no? ng pagkakataon, sumingit pa kasi itong bleeding woman to Pero always remember again, ha? if Jairus has a daughter, that bleeding woman is a daughter of God as well. Remember that. Amen? And this is the same words that he is telling to us, do not be afraid, just have faith. Now here, letting you know, my dear friends, no? that Jesus wasn't saying, don't worry, everything will be alright. Di ba yung tipong mga linyahan ng toxic positivity na okay lang yan, may plano si Lord. Alam nyo, I'm not saying it's wrong, but we just have to be sensitive with people around us. Baka kasi hindi sila kasing mature mo sa pananampalataya. Kaya minsan, imbis na maturn on sila sa faith mo, turn off sila. Dahil you brush off yung kanilang mga nararamdaman. Sometimes you just have to be, <laughs> just say to your friend, I'm here for you. I don't have answers. But in this particular scene, listen to this, Jesus was rather challenging Jairus to take a leap of faith. And speaking about leap of faith, mag-ala, kuya kim moment po tayo. Are you familiar with this? Sige nga, if you know this, type that in the comment section. Ayan, may nag-google na. O sige, parang hindi na po ko mahirapan. Ito po ay mga tinata- itong tinatawag na African Impala. Ah, and they can actually leap a height of over 10 feet. Grabe, parang kasing laki ng isang basketbolista, no? And cover a distance of greater than 30 feet. Pwede nang panglaban sa Olympic, eh, di ba? Um, high jump, no? And uh, yet, still, no, itong mga magnificent na creatures na African Impala can be kept in enclosure in any zoo, in a three-foot wall. Grabe, no? 
sobrang taas ng kayang italon, pero kapag ka itinago mo, kapag ka ikinulong mo sa three-foot wall, then hanggang doon lang ang kaya niyang gawin. And letting you know that uh, these animals no, reminds us as well na baka kapatid, may mga pagkakataon sa buhay natin na sobrang binigyan ka ng talento ng galing ng Diyos, minahal ka ng Diyos, pero hanggang ngayon nakakulong ka pa rin, bilanggu ka pa rin ng nakalipas mo, ng mga pagkakabali mo, and you're still beating yourself up, and instead of you uh, being able to rise up, what happens now is you're having breakdowns. This is a reminder for us, my dear friends, that you don't deserve to be there. God has so much in store for us. God has a big plan for us. And that's why that fear that is actually maybe diba, enslaving you, it's about time for us, my dear friends, to experience no? that we deserve this breakthrough para makawala ka. And Jesus wants you to break free. Amen? Sige nga, if that is for you, type in the comment section. Ayan. This is my breakthrough. No, I deserve this breakthrough. Amen? And I'm able to see your comments here. Again, it's a declaration. It's not just something that I'm asking you to do, but really believe that nothing's impossible with Jesus. Jesus has shown us the way and we're not coming from our defeat, but we're coming from Jesus' victory, His resurrection power. Amen? And letting you know that God is so good that He answers even unbelievers. No, Just like, ayan, si Jairus. I'm sure meron pa rin doubt sa kanya. And uh, dahil lumapit sa kanya, naniklohod, nagmamakaawa. Now, my dear friends, it's also a challenge for us to cross the bridge from unbelief to belief. Ngayon bang panahon ng pandemic, are you feeding your faith? Are you attending the feast? Are you listening to worship? Are you praying, reading God's word? Are you attending light groups no? or support groups? Are you starting your feast light? no? Are you helping our mercy ministries? That's now a challenge for us. That instead of us feeding our fear, let's now feed our faith. This is now us crossing the bridge from unbelief to belief. Amen. And that's why exactly, no, yan po ang nangyari kay Jairus, no? He knew Jesus can heal, but he did not know whether Jesus could raise the dead. He had to take that leap of faith. Kapatid, have you taken that leap of faith? Sa Panginoon Diyos, are you giving your wholehearted trust to Him? Most especially ngayon, tayo ay nasa crisis. Finally, this is now truth number three. And truth number three tells us, love moves us to trust and surrender. And this is now a reminder for us, my dear friends, as we look into Mark chapter 5, verses 37 to 40. And again, friends, we've read this in our talks previously. But I want you to read it again because, again, read between the lines. Then Jesus tapped the crowd and wouldn't let anyone go with him except Peter, James, and John. When they came to the home of the synagogue leader, Jesus saw much commotion and weeping and wailing. He went inside and asked, Why all this commotion and weeping? The child isn't dead. She's only asleep. Hindi ba parang medyo masyadong chaotic talaga yung sitwasyon na yun. And uh, ang daming drama. And I'm not saying, no? Friends, listen to this. I'm not saying na huwag tayong umiyak kapag nakakalungkot at pag depressing. I'm not saying it's wrong. We need to feel our emotions, no? Si Jesus, ganun din. But ang challenge sa atin, huwag tayong tumambay at bumabad sa negativity, sa discouragements because that won't actually help us and just like in this story, we know what happened, my dear friends. Listen to this. The crowd laughed at him. Oh, di ba grabe? Umiiyak. Tapos nung sinabi ni Jesus, no? Bakit kayo nagdadrama, no? Umiiyak. Hindi naman patay. Tulog lang. And then, nagtawa na sila. Oh, di ba? Nandun pa rin yung unbelief. But he made them all leave. Alis. So you have to make a decision in your life. Kung hindi na nakakatulong yung mga pinapakinggan mo, binabasa mo, pinapanood mo, lalo na ngayon ng panahon ng pandemic, kailangan mo nang i-let go yan. No? At magtiwala ka sa Panginoon Diyos. He made them all leave and he took the girl's father and mother and his three disciples into the room where the girl was lying. And friends, just letting you know, 
this is where Jesus challenged Jairus to have faith. But the atmosphere in the house was still discouraging. Nobody believed Jesus. This was not good for Jairus. Dahil nagsisimula pa lang sa pala ng palataya niya. And anong response ni Lord? Ay, ibang klase rin. No? Yung talagang mapapayanig ka talaga. No? He sent everyone out except the disciples and parents. Kasi talagang dapat meron pa rin nandoon at yung mga mapagkakatiwalaan, yung mga taong talagang merong care and compassion. And I believe in this pandemic times, hindi ba parang pamilyar? Ang dami rin mga discouragement. Ang dami rin mga taong nakaka, nakakanega. <laughs> so, this is the sad reality, but we're reminded of this story. No, I'm not sure, pero this is a good story, my dear friends, di ba? Meron raw dalawang magkaibigang palaka, si Hermit at si Kermit. No? On the way to the pond, biglang sila silang nalaglag no? sa isang napakalalim na balon. At uh, pagdating doon, na uh, hindi sila makalabas, hindi sila makatakas. And then what happened is, may mga dumaan ding ilang palaka, tapos, nako, medyo imposible na ito. At sinabihan pa sila na ano, wala, wala nang kapag-apag-asa, mababaon na kayo dyan. No? At sabi ni Hermit, the frog, Oh no, this is our end. Katapusan na natin to. Pero si Kermit, the frog, refused to give up and he continued jumping up and down. Tapos kala mo, wala nangyayari. Akala mo lang, wala nang nangyayari. Pero meron, meron, meron. Kaya unti-unti, yung mga rebels, no? falling down from above, he made use of it. And because of that, he was able to jump. Nakaalis siya. Nakatakas siya. And that uh, frog who got left, no, si Hermit, and even the rest of the frogs were asking, paano ka nakaalis? Well, only to found out that si <laughs> Kermit the frog ay bingi. Hindi siya nakinig sa lahat ng mga negativity na sinasabi ng maraming tao. And I believe during this time, mga kapatid, ito yung pwede pong magbingi-bingihan no, kapag negative na ang mga sinasabi at hindi nakakatulong sa'yo. So question is this. Sinong pinapakinggan mo sa buhay mo? Are you listening to those people who are discouraging you to the negative news? Or are you listening to the voice of Jesus? Kanino ka nakikinig? Ka Jesus? O kung kanikanino lang? My dear friends, kung makikinig tayo sa ating Panginoon Diyos, we will rise above this crisis. Amen? Sige nga, if you are making a decision that you will rise above this crisis, type in the comment section, rise. O ba Extra rice, hindi yung pagkain, pero yung pagbangon natin muli. And this brings us, my dear friends, in Mark chapter 5, verses 41 to 42, holding her hand, he said to her, Talita kuum. Let's read that again. Holding her hand, he said to her, Talita kuum, which means little girl, get up. And the girl who was 12 years old, di ba? parang yung same rin na 12 years nung bleeding woman, immediately stood up and walked around. They were overwhelmed and totally amazed. And my dear friends, Jesus didn't pray for the dead girl to return to life. Ito po ah, he rather held her gently by the hand. Alam nyo, para sa akin, yan ang pinakamahalagang pagkakataon, moment sa buong storya. Why? Because this is Jesus reassuring not just the household, not just the disciples, but reassuring that girl that I'm here for you. Nandito ako para sa you. And these are the same words that Jesus is telling you right here, right now. Nandito ako para sa you. Ako lamang ay sapat na. Everything you need, everything you are looking for, you can only find it in me. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Then Jesus commanded the daughter, get up. Yan rin ang sinasabi sa'yo, kapatid ng Panginoon, get up. And because of that, talita kuum, little girl, get up. She returned to life immediately. Even death could not resist Jesus' unstoppable love. And this is the kind of love that is available to all of us. Friend, listen to this. We can rise above this crisis. You can rise up because Jesus will raise you up. Hindi ka lang babangon. Hindi lang tayo babangon. Pero ibabangon ka ng Diyos sa pandemic na ito, sa crisis na ito. And I want you to live with this scene, scene once again. Ibabangon ka ng Diyos. Kung ano man ang pagkakadapa mo, pagkakamali mo, at kung ano man ang 
problema na ikaw ay hindi makabangon ngayon, He will raise you up and He will tell to you, I am here for you. Amen? Ah, amen and amen. This has been a blessing to serve you on my birthday. Let's celebrate life together. And yes, we have received this message that I am here for you. My dear friends, it's now our turn to say to our family, our friends, to everyone that I am here for you as well. Amen. Come on, type in the comment section. Amen if you believe in that. And we are so blessed today before even uh, finishing strong by Brother Tony. Let's bring our dear Brother Alvin Barcelona for a special message. Take it away, Brother Alvin. Bermans na mga kapatid at hudyat na nga ng pinakamahabang Christmas celebration sa buong mundo. At hindi lang ito tungkol kay Jose Marichan na lumitaw na upang umawit ng mga Christmas songs. Magamat kasama rin yun. But more than that, we look forward to something. We are holding on to something. And that something is someone. And His name is Jesus. And by His love, our breakdowns can turn into our breakthroughs. Maraming maraming salamat, Brother Alvin Barcelona, for that wonderful song to inspire us, Breakthrough. Please type in the comment section if you believe in that. My breakthrough is coming. My breakthrough is coming. Yes, kahit may pandemia, kahit crisis, breakthrough is coming because our breakthrough can be found in God. And again, thank you. Maraming maraming salamat to our powerful word given by coach jc libiran our birthday boy our man of the day thank you so much brother always blessed to have you join us and co-preach with us dito sa ating 1 30 p.m taglish session and we're excited for more expect for more to come especially from coach jc so we continue our message hindi pa tapos we're almost there as we wrap up our ongoing series and talk for about love today 
kung natanda nyo yung kwento, as we reach the last part of this story, na si Jesus pumunta na, nandun na sa bahay ni Jairus. At yung pagdating niya, yung mga nagsalubong sa kanya, the people that he encountered there, mga crying ladies, no? Sa panahon pa ni Jesus, may mga crying ladies na, no? Hindi, ka, hindi lang ngayon, no? But imagine, no? Ang gulo, ang ingay, lahat sila nag <laughs> Tapos biglang nagsalita si Jesus, Go out. The girl is not dead. She is asleep. Biglang tumawa sila. <laughs> Parang baliw, no? <laughs> no? Parang ganun, no? Parang baliw. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, hindi authentic pala yung pag-weeping nila. Hindi authentic yung pag grieve nila. Nan, siguro, <laughs> in-invite lang sila para mag-ingayan lang dun. But Jesus went into the inner room kung saan yung daughter ni Jairus. And he told everyone, get out. Move out. I don't want noise here. I don't want distraction here. And friends, today, as we have so many noise around us, so many noise around us and in us, do you, like Jesus, also tell this noise, these distractions to move out so you can focus on who matters most in your life, on your relationships, on Jesus, who wants to come into your inner room. Dahil si Jesus wants to come into your heart today, your most inner room. Friends, have you allowed Jesus to enter your inner room today? Have you allowed Jesus to cast out all of the distractions, out all of the negativity, lahat ng mga negatron sa buhay mo? Of course, we don't just push it aside, but do you allow Jesus to take control of what you are going through right now? Because Jesus wants us not only to receive breakthrough, because we're meant to receive His breakthrough and He's going to give it in His perfect time. But when we receive the breakthrough, ano na? Hanggang dyan lang ba? Ano bang sunod? Because God wants us to receive breakthrough so that we can be a blessing to others. From our breakthrough to being a blessing to others in our life. Gabi, no? Itong eksena na to, I'm sure may purpose talaga pong pang, paano nangyari ito because Jesus called in yung core team niya, si Pedro, si Juan, at si Santiago, silang tatlo, at saka yung magulang ng daughter. That's why in Mark 5.43, Jesus shares and says, Jesus gave them strict orders not to tell anyone what happened, and then He told them to give her something to eat. Unang-una, there are two instructions here na binigay ni Jesus sa kanila. Sa core team na, po, na pinayagan niyang pumasok sa inner room kung saan yung daughter ni Jairus, no? He gave them strict orders not to tell anyone. Not to make a publicity. Huwag mong sabihin yung mga tao sa labas. Huwag, huwag kayong lumapit sa mga media men, sa mga paparazzi. Huwag mong i-bulgar -i yung mga nangyayari dito. It's for us. Friends, when Jesus comes into your inner heart, it's between you and Jesus and he wants to bring back to life your heart today the dreams that you have put aside the aspirations the ambitions that you believe were killed because of this pandemic he wants to bring it back to life in you yan ang una no he didn't want any publicity pero syempre hindi natin hindi maiiwasan ng mga tao when they saw Jairus's daughter alive the news spread around and today god wants not just us to keep quiet it's not enough that we keep quiet, but He wants us to share the breakthrough of our blessing to others as well. Kagaya ng binanggit ni Jesus sa Great Commission in Matthew 28, 18-20, bago siya umakyat sa langit, no? Bago yung ascension niya, sabi ni Jesus, Jesus came and told His disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations. Diba? Sabi ni Jesus, I have authority in heaven and earth. And, and ibig sabihin, kasama ang kamatayan dyan, He has power over death as well. Ituloy natin. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you and be sure of this. Ayan, ito ang message natin for today as Jesus himself says it, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. And Jesus is telling us today, even through this pandemic, through this crisis, I am here 
for you. At binanggit ni Jesus, no, dun sa scripture verse niyan, I am baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Kung may mga tatanong sa inyo o sa ating mga kapatid, saan sa Biblia ba sina- sinabi yung Holy Trinity na yan? Yan, no, yung Matthew 28, 18 to 20, hindi sinabi ni Jesus, Holy Trinity mismo. Pero binanggit niya, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Oh, di po ba? Trinity po yun, no? Ayan, na Konting tip lang po dun. And second, yung instruction niya sa magulang ni uh, sa magulang ng uh, ng daughter na ito na namatay and to the three core team ni Pedro, Santiago at si Juan Jesus also asked them to give food sa daughter ni Jairus. Why? Why? Because now that she's back to life, kailangan pa kainin. <laughs> she's alive. She is breathing. Therefore, she has her senses back. She is hungry. She is starving. Kailangan kumain. And ibig sabihin, Jesus wanted to show to them that she is truly alive. And He, Jesus, is legit. Totoo. Jesus is the real thing. Jesus is the source of life. Jesus is the giver of life. Jesus is the soul re- rejuvenating source of all that we need sa panahon ngayon. Turn to Jesus, friend. Allow Him to come into your inner room. And today, Jesus also wants to tell us, not only is He here for us, pero now, dear friends, it's your turn to say, I'm here for you. Kanino? sa mga kasama natin ngayon sa bahay, to our friends, our loved ones, our family, our colleagues, kahit online, you're now being called and invited by God na mag to tell everyone, I'm here for you. We are here for you. Pero, how can we bring healing more at this time through love? We have practical guidelines, no? And we want to share this today. First of all, from a very, very, very well-read author and... Uh, guide no sa mga love languages yan familiar po ba kayo sa mga love languages sabi ni si Gary Chapman no author of the five love languages sabi niya in this time of crisis we need encouragement and guidance for those struggling in relationships and those struggling to show love to those who are distant due to quarantine and self isolation Grabe, no? The deepest need we have as a human, as humans, is to feel love. And the need for love is consistency in our human nature. Regardless, whatever relationship you are in right now, friends, whether nasa buhay mag-asawa, uh, magulang, anak, kapatid, kaibigan, our call is to build our relationships in love, no? Not in stress, not in negativity. Yes, those things are there and we acknowledge them and we share those with one another. We bear each other's crosses but with the sole purpose of loving one another. Ito na, friends. Maybe you're not familiar with this, pero we'll share to you yung uh, highlight of Gary Chapman's theory of his five ways to express love. Mas lalo ngayon sa panahon ng pandemya. Five ways to express love this pandemic. Baka may kop- kopya kayo ng libro. I have a copy of his book and it's such a wonderful book. I hope you get a copy of it, whether e-book or, or hard copy, paperback. Pero ito, five ways. Are you ready? Here we go. First, one of the five ways to express love, words of affirmation. Yan, no? And uh, itong, this is one way we can express love ngayon sa panahon ng pandemya. And all throughout our lives, we can share and give words that will build up, edify, strengthen yung, yung buhay at puso ng iba. Sabi nila, I remember the old uh, saying, no? Yung kasabihan, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. I beg to disagree. Tama nga. Ang, ang ma, 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 maksakit talaga pag sticks and stones sa katawan. Pero words, ang mga salita, will break one's heart. It has the power. Words, ang mga salita natin, can break one's heart without one knowing or build up one's heart to have hope life and confidence no mahalaga po ang mga salita natin and our words can be a double edged sword that can either build someone's life or create anxiety hurt 
even heartaches, di ba? Pag na, may isang tao na nagsabi, I love you. O, oh, di ba? Sarap pakinggan. Pero paano naman? May, may nagsasabi, I hate you. O, oh, iba na. Parang feel na feel mo. O, bakit? Ano bang ginawa kong mali? O, oh, iba na. Iba na ang feeling. And then at the end of the day, di ako makatulog kasi yung, yung sinabi niya, parang ambiguous. Di mo alam kung galit ba siya talaga sa akin? Bakit anong ginawa kong mali? O, oh, di ba? It makes you worry, anxious, and, and that's difficult sa panahon ngayon. So, let's be more generous, more kind to one another. Mahirap na ang panahon ngayon, pinapahirapan mo pa yung iba. Words are very simple and easy to give to express love for one another. Kahit yung written word, ha? Second, uh, ways to express love. Ito, acts of service, no? Uh, yan. Ito, um, I'm very close to this acts of service kasi uh, I know that marami dyan na mga tao, they're not good with their words, hindi sila wordsmith, pero sa gawa. No, they love to do things with their with their actions, with their with their deeds, oh, diba? So as simple as yung pagtimpla lang ng kape para sa uh, loved ones mo, oh, diba? Uh, as as uh, easy as uh, ikaw na nag-initiate yung maglinis uh, ng bahay, gawa ng chores every day. Oh, simpleng bagay na yun, kahit araw-araw, but that's how you can share your love to someone. Dahil you've made someone's life easier today, diba? So if you're with someone right now in your home, maybe That's what their love language of receiving is. Uh, acts of service. Uh, so, pwede po yun. Serve one another in love. ba? Diba? And sabi nila, actions speak louder than words. Oh, yan. So, our third way to express love at this time, receiving gifts. Yan. Alam ko may mga taong ganito, no? They love to give gifts for one another. Pero alam nyo, it doesn't matter how big or how small, kung anong shape, kung gaanong ka, kamahal, or, or, or whether it's libre lang yung gift na yun. Yung mahalaga is the person giving the gift it's the thought the intention no that comes behind the gift alam ko na may mga magulang diyan na, na naalala nyo dear parents nung bata pa yung mga anak nyo minsan yung mga anak natin baby pa no mga ilang months or ilang taon uh, mag-aabot na ng simpleng gift no isang minsan bato lang minsan bulaklak lang minsan dahon lang no but yung mga anak na, na natin yung mga kids na yan, they they give these gifts meaningful for them na may inaabot silang simpleng bagay and gifts sa magulang nila to their loved ones. And we, tayo, mga, mga, mga magulang, we receive, oh, ang sweet naman ito, di ba? Kahit alam mo na, ay, dahon lang to, ay, papel lang to, ay, drawing niya lang to, but para sa kanila, napakahalaga pala yan. So, there are people who love giving gifts and we treasure these people, no? We also thank them with words of affirmation as well. So, yan. So, our fourth, ito, isa sa yeah, mga highlights na alam ko, marami sa atin ganito ang love language natin, quality time naman. Yon. Di po ba? Marami sa atin quality time. Aminin ko, ang second love language ko is quality time. And totoo po yun, no? Time, how can we give our love most of the time to others is through our time because time that's given is time that can never be taken back. And quality time doesn't mean just, you know, tipong na, 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 na nag-usap lang kayo, no? It's really spending intentional and deliberate time with the other person, no? And even if it's online, who are the person that you love spending quality time with? Or maybe who are the people that you have yet to spend quality time with, no? Napakahalaga po yun, especially sa panahon ng pandemya, how quality are your time together is during this crisis. Fifth and last five of the five ways of expressing love, according to Gary Chapman, is this. Physical touch. Yan. Relate na relate ako dito because this is my main love language. Kasi mga uh, tayo, iba-iba yung uh, love language na binibigay sa receiving. No, Ang giving ko is physical touch. No, Ang pangalawa is quality time. But ang receiving ko is acts of service. Physical touch. Mas lalo sa panahon ngayon, difficult po ito, okay? Wag, this does not give us permission to go out tsaka mag-ano na, mag-touch-touch, you know? <laughs> No. But then we must understand that even for us who have physical touch as our love language, this is a challenging time. But even so, if you're with someone, even with yourself, you can give yourself a pat on the back through your difficult challenges ngayon. And you deserve to give yourself that back, pat on the back. And it's okay to not be okay. Tama po? Because God wants to embrace you today. 
even if you feel you have no one to 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 embrace today kasi sabi ni Virginia Satir no isang family therapist sabi niya we need four hugs a day for survival we need eight hugs a day for maintenance we need 12 hugs a day for growth wow may science pala itong paghug no talagang because we are we are sensible feeling beings yung yung gift of touch can really bring us uh, our 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 state of physicality and and enhance our mentality and emotions di po ba napakahalaga po yon and friends if you're not yet sure what your love language is or what you prioritize as your love language you can always take a free quiz online no so ipapakita namin yung URL yan ito yung website no slash quizzes because 300 and uh, 333 million people have already taken this quiz no take a screenshot and you can go to this website for you to check kung ano yung love language mo no so minsan iba yung giving na love language mo compared sa receiving love language pero ito ang masasabi ko with all of the live la, la, five love languages that we are learning today i believe we believe that love cannot be fully expressed if not through sacrifice no? Ang dahilan why we are sharing to you the five lang love languages is not that so you can make your love language known to others. Kasama po yun. That's ay mahalagang communication. Pero to be sensitive, to be aware, to be compassionate to the love languages of others para mag-adjust tayo so that others can also be fe feel loved by us. Dahil COVID-19 can't stop us from loving one another. Yes, we observe physical distancing, but that doesn't mean we stop loving one another. No? And here, life's meaning is not found in possessions. Life's meaning is found in our relationships. And when we develop relationships, our relationship with God and relationships with each other, we are investing our lives in the eternal in the eternal things we are building our lives not just for this world but for the next friends as jesus called out to the dead daughter talitha kum little girl get up friends god is asking us today from our hurts from our pains yes he knows us in and out he wants to embrace us where we are but he doesn't want us to stay where we are Jesus wants to pull us back up to life. He is telling us today, Anak, wake up and get up. Talita kum. Talita kum. And God is always telling us, until our dying day, until this world ends, ang sinasabi ni Jesus sa atin is, I'm here for you. Through thick and thin, no matter what happens, I'm here for you. But Jesus is also asking us to tell the same to others in our lives, our loved ones, our friends, those who are suffering, those who are in pain, the poor, the dying, the lost. We also are challenged to tell to them as well, I'm here for you. Friends, as we acknowledge our God who loves us so much and is telling us day in and day out, araw-araw, every hour, every minute, every second of our breathing life, I'm here for you. Now we are also telling Jesus, Lord, yes, come into my life. Come into my inner room. Bring me back to life. Because God, dear Jesus, I'm also here for you. Friends, let's come into worship and declare how God is all out for us. Let's come before his presence today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love.
that you have planted in our hearts we know that there is nothing impossible to you and you can bring us back to life oh god what we thought was once dead will become alive in your grace in your mercy the dreams that you have planted will sprout to life again oh god knowing that nothing is impossible lord fill us with your love today Talitha kum, you are here for us making us come back to life breathing back us back to life this we know and pray and declare in the silence of our hearts in our inner room in jesus mighty name jesus mighty name amen
praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord God. We thank you for your goodness today. Thank you. A miracle can happen now. Yes, Lord God. For the Spirit of the Lord is here. Let's give praise to our God. Continue to give praise to Him. He is here. His presence is around us and in us everywhere we go, in everything that we do, that we are alive and breathing today. Dear friends, we hope and pray that you are blessed by God's message for today. And as we give to you our final announcements, tawagin ko ulit ang ating mga amazing hosts, no? si Brother Nico and Sis Ayumi. Pasok, mga kapatid! Hello, magandang Yay! magandang hapon po muli. Yun! Hey, praise God. At uh, <laughs> yan, napakagandang mensahe para sa ating lahat, ang ating napakagandang kanina. Amen. 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 And Amen. also, to continue the cycle of generosity, Sis Ayumi. Yes, let's continue the cycle of generosity, brothers and sisters. So, share God's love and mercy through your giving. Alam niyo mga kapatid, ang inyong pagbibigay ay nakakatulong sa iba't ibang Peace Mercy Ministries na meron tayo. And syempre yes. hindi lang 'yon, you may also search on our uh, on Facebook and on Instagram the hashtag the Peace Little Act of Love and makikita niyo yung mga kapatid na nating natulungan sa inyong pagbibigay. So mga kapatid, you may give through bank deposit via our Union Bank, Timo Branch, the builder of the Light of Jesus family, account number 000-4000-24937, SWIFT code UBPHPHMM, or you may also deposit by check with the check name The Peace Bay Area. And syempre, pwede rin ang PayPal and credit card. Just go to www.thefeastpiccpm.com forward slash give. And syempre, Brother Tony bing, bing. and Brother Nico, bing, bing, bing. <laughs> meron din tayo <laughs> Gcash QR code. Yon. So just take a screenshot of the Gcash QR code. Yan. And of course, Brother Nico, alam naman natin na this pandemic, marami yung naapektuhan, di ba? Ginoong kaong pa. Hmm. Totoo yan. Kaya naman, kung kailangan nyo ng kausap, the LOJ Paso Care Center is here to help you. We are here to listen to your stories. And maki- uh, makukontak nyo po sila sa mga numerong nakikita ninyo sa inyong mga screen lunes hanggang sabado, alas 8 hanggang alas 5 Yun. ng hapon. Kaya naman, huwag kalilimutan, nandirito kami para sa inyo upang kayo ay pakinggan. Amen. At pagpapatuloy pa rin mamaya dahil nga patuloy kaming nakikinig at patuloy kaming sumasama at nakikilakbay sa inyo. Kaya naman mamaya join us sa ating Zoom Mustahan, sa ating fellowship at uh, tiyak na mas marami pa kayong makukuhang masasaya at uh, talagang nag-uumapaw na biyaya mula sa ating Panginoon. Kaya naman i-click lamang ang Zoom credentials na makikita ninyo sa inyong comment section at Mag-zoom, mustahan na tayo. Yun! <laughs> yes! Kita-kits mamaya, virtual hug. Opo, simula lunes hanggang linggo dahil sa ating everyday program sa ating FBA District. Ayan, pakikita niyo po sa inyong mga screen ang iba't ibang mga schedules natin mula lunes hanggang linggo. Kaya naman patuloy ang asiyahan at pagmamahal na nagmumula sa mabathalang awa ng Panginoon. Yeah. Amen. 
Ayan, alam natin na uh, ngayong araw na ito ay tulay na talagang binayaan tayo. Kaya naman, any last words po sa ating mga viewers? Yan, of course. <laughs> Ito, we want to thank all of our builders for our special talk series and for all our servants behind the scenes, no? Hindi lang kami ni Ayumi, ni Nico, at saka ako, or Coach JC ay nandito, but because of your love, your support, you're helping us bring God's Word to everyone through our online platforms. And excited uli kami to journey with you, not only on our next Sunday session, but throughout the week. Alam nyo, this is such a blessing that uh, we have our online platforms kahit may pinagdadaanan, we can find strength in one another no? and in God. Yes. So, uh, we will start our new series, no? secret pa lang, surprise kung ano yung next series natin. But we're excited to have you uli and I hope that won't be a sir, that's a blessing that you'll join us next Sunday and we hope that you are safe kung saan man po kayo and sigurado merong magandang mangyayari. Sayo! God bless you! Stay safe!